if you have a very strong, positive, male-driven interaction and she responds, you've pretty much done most of the work. You just need to carry that through to its conclusion. Likewise, if you approach and you're timid and you fumble and you're unsure of yourself and for some reason, oftentimes she won't give the number, for example, but for say, for some reason, for argument's sake, it does work out uh, in terms of connecting and she sees you that way but she decides to go ahead. You're going to be in that, she's going to view you that way. You're going to be in that sort of trapped in that paradigm. So the importance of this is that pickup or initial meeting is not something trivial. And not apologize for stuff. And not apologize for stuff. Okay, this is, these are key tools to live by when you're single and things to certainly keep in mind in a relationship. I think a relationship enters into a mutual ground where there is compromise, but many successful relationships continue because there's polarity and the man behaves as a man and the woman behaves as a woman and there's not a neutralization of that. There's strong boundaries within the relationship still. When I was younger, I had no, <clears throat> no technology with women, and, but I still would try and talk to them here and there. And I would get nervous. i get butterflies in my stomach. And I would put myself all out there emotionally, like, here I am. I'm a sweet kid. Like, accept me. And a you know, bitchy hot girl would be like, Pfft. And, I, and then I would, I would hurt, and I would, like, withdraw. And clearly, that doesn't work. I was offering too much. Women offer as little as you can, is the truth. And one way you can do that is, is to be detached. Now, detachment has a lot of means. You can be detached from the outcome of the, of, the, of the interaction. What I'm talking about here is when I engage a hot girl and I don't know if she's going to behave herself, I mean, is she going to be polite or like a total nightmare, I usually, psychologically, I keep her in the ante room in the front so she can kick and scream and be rude and impolite and hostile and, and basically indicate like, how dare you talk to me? Do you know who I am? Like just total nose in the air. We've all experienced these women. Like serious C-U-N-T's, part of my language. So, yeah, yeah, they're hot maybe. So you, you're, so you try and interact with one. You don't let her into the house. Keep her in the ante room, psychological ante room, detached, and play with her there. So if she breaks a few windows and she acts out, she's not hurting you. And that's how I deal with And how do you do that? You keep it playful and combative and you keep her in check a little bit and you don't yield and you don't give her much ground and you call her out on stuff too and you basically you tease her in that in that ante room there and if she if she buys into it and there's like with Julia when she gave me some of that I said I said I can't remember verbatim but I, I got to her in front of her with all my stuff you know and I made a huge scene I was like I had to fight to get in front of you what do you say and she didn't say anything and I was like so what's your name and she said, why? I'll bitch you like that. So she's being unmanageable in the ante room. But then I said, I put her in her place a bit. And I said, well, that's good. what polite people do. We, we say each other's name. I'm Paul. What's your name? And so she felt kind of like an ass. Pardon my language. So all of a sudden, she got sweet and softened a bit. Because I didn't, I didn't uh, back down or, or anything. I basically, when she said that, I was like, I came right back at her with something. And... Once she softened up, I let her into the house. I opened up a little bit and I was more vulnerable. But you don't want to go out there doing battle with hot chicks with your heart on the line because we're guys but we're still sensitive and stuff. You do that and you're going to feel uncomfortable and hurt enough times that you're just going to scrap it all and be like, ah, this whole pickup thing doesn't work.